So we just wrapped up a World Time Attack Challenge with Rob Chairslayer Parsons. And now we are headed off to meet Motive DVD, Andrew Hawkins. And then we're gonna head to Pack Performance because your boy loves rotaries and they're really good at rotaries. But our current dilemma is too many men. I think we just need to get some rope, strap the roof to the strap all right, the chair. Perfect. The it's gonna work. Oh, all right. Just go in your lap. Let's go. Rob, wait. I just realized you're driving. What? <laughs> what is that? He's clearly the most talented driver. So quick stick. <laughs> the quick stick? Yeah, dude. Fucking fits in your carry-on. Yeah. Seventy bucks. So you go anywhere. Grab a We're rental. Now we don't. Yeah. We don't need to wait for a fucking rental. Daddy can drive. <laughs> oh man. And I feel like I've been driving more than anybody else here lately. So. Hey, there's no need to rub it in. Ah. All right, we get it. You're a race car driver. I thought you were hooting it. Do a burnout. Oh shit. Do a burnout. Yeah, no, don't do a. Uh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> take it easy, bro. We made it to Motive DVD. We use this. Andrew. Oh, sorry. Right. Uh, this place is dope, man. It's a really cool space. You got, yeah. you got space for cars inside and out. <laughs> nice lighting too. You know, it feels nice in here. Yeah. I feel alive. I don't know about you guys. I feel. Good. Uh, I feel alive in here. We even, we even get nice fresh air out here with the beautiful romantic view. Oh wow! Really, the only reason I chose this is I can actually see the racetrack from here, so I can see the weather. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. I can so you, so it's like, is it worth track. going? Right, is it worth going yeah. for racetrack? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, I can see the weather. Yo, this is a crazy cool. spot. Cool. Yeah. So is this one of yours too? No, this is my mate's car. This, okay, that's this, what I thought. This is, a, this is a blowing, you know, just a blowing. So I've got the, the Air Force out ready to go. So yeah, yeah we already talked about this one yeah, yesterday. Yeah, we talked about. This is our, you know, I only just got this, so I just started this project. Uh, Right hand drive, 997. On my stairs. So they're, they're, I don't ever thought I'd get it, but they're big money in Australia, unfortunately. Right, but, right. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I paid 2,000 bucks for this stuff, Eric. Yeah. And it probably owes me five or six grand, and we use it for tarmac rallies. And <laughs> it owes stuff. you. Yeah. It's going to pay you back someday. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I see. I think I, all of our cars owe us quite a bit of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a squad. Yeah, yeah we got a squad. That's sick. Off line. Mine, mine felt like a luxury race car, you know, like a smooth, casual. But yours looked violent. It was like that's though. supposed to be the luxury race car, but it looked violent. Dude, that On thing the was inside, it was Well, okay, I take that back. I mean, I rubber, got right? kicked yeah. in the chest by yeah. 50 pounds of boost off the line. Yeah. Now we are here at Pack Performance to check out some of the coolest rotary cars they have to offer, and they did not hold back. They did not hold back. Pulled out all the stops. All of it. Hi. All the boys, so you can see you've brought some beautiful cars out to show you guys um, what we what we do. What here. you guys do here? Yeah. yeah. You so, keep everyone in check? I'm the mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come through. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about this red and gold. That's right up my alley, you know. Yeah, yeah this is nice. Oh, man. Just a casual three-rotor, no big deal. Oh, my God. Look, look at man. the turbo. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Dude. Big enough one? Yeah, yeah, just a, just a little bit. Not doing it right. Ah, uh, yeah, apparently not. Man, oh, hey, 
Rocky. How you doing? How you doing, Rocky? How's things, all right? Nice. He's the uh, rotor, what, OG of Australia, pretty much. It's been raced overseas, had almost every rotary record at one stage or another in Australia, done everything, all of it. So you, are you the reason whatever. why all of this is here? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Myself yeah. and um, my brother George, we kind of had this dream and started off 30 years ago. And 30 years ago? 30 years. Give me a, give me a quick history on PAC. PAC. I've only seen you on the internet. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm from the States. So. Um, started off as a hobby. Just We used to race dirt bikes. Someone said that there's an engine that doesn't have valves or rods or cams. And, and you got to put bullshit. oil in the gas, so you're like, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Two stroke <laughs> bike. And then I said, yeah, I've got to see one of these engines. I went for a ride in it, had a look at one. And the following day, I went and bought an engine. And that was it. So, 30 years uh, later. 30 years later. You got a rotary heaven. Pretty blessed. It's like just coming to the garage to play around with yeah. your mates and that. So, yeah. Um, what does so PAC stand for? You want the real answer or the bullshit answer? Well, whatever you want to tell me. So, when we were young, we used to street race. We had a yellow car that used to go right, right, right. It was a proof port. We wanted to eat everything. Pac Man was around at the time. Pac Man ate everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. No, I like that. That's that's the real answer. But Patstow Automotive Center, because of, of course we couldn't register that Pac Man deal. So, right, um, right. Patso Automotive Center because we started in Patso, which is the next suburb down about three or four oh, minutes okay, drive. So, okay. so it's two stories that are both very relevant to the Very night. relevant, but yeah. the true story is Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Yeah, I like it, man. Like, I mean, right off the bat, you've got a three rotor. That's a billet engine coming around here. Right? What? Yeah. Metal manufacturing can be accomplished with a variety of different processes. From casting to forging and machining, casting involves heating metal past its melting point and pouring it into a mold. The resulting casting takes the shape of the final part. Casting is the most affordable of these processes, although it is labor-intensive and less accurate than forging and machining. Forging heats the metal until it's malleable before using high-pressure stamping to create the desired shape. This process creates high strength and high quality parts, but it does require extensive finishing work to remove any excess material. Billet is nothing more than a solid block of metal that can be made of any type of metal, from magnesium to steel, iron or lead. Because of its relatively low cost compared to other lightweight metals, aluminum is the preferred material for billet parts. Contrary to popular belief, billet is the material and not the manufacturing process. Billet metal parts are extruded into shape by continuous casting, hot rolling or, most commonly in CNC machining. Now, say it with me, a billet of aluminum, not billet aluminum. Don't let me catch you slipping. So, um, if you have a look, that's got, that's, oh, they're the wow. plates that we make. Billet front, middle, intermediate and rear. The billet engine, originally, essentially we started because we couldn't get the cast iron plates anymore, they were breaking, the 20B plate was breaking. We made that billet plate, we said, you know what, it works, let's make the front and rear. So we did that for racing only. And then one night after breaking a, a major record, we were having a party and George was drunk and he said, man, I'm going to put this thing in, the, in a streetcar. We yeah. said, oh, you're on drugs, you're tripping, ain't you? <laughs> and the um, following day he got up, he was sober then, and, and he come to work, we put an engine in the car and we drove it on the street. We said that's going to fail. Three or four years later, we've got over 80 billet engines running around on the street. They drive wow. them weekend, power crews, um, they drag race them, street race them, whatever you want to do. Like Are you guys the first for the billet movement? Were you guys? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We were the first. We started it, we developed it for a long time, and we made this dream possible for every rotary head around the world, not just Australia or Impact Performance, but you know, everywhere. So, um, so do, you, do your engines still run factory Mazda parts? Yeah. Besides, so what's so you have billet plates, but then your rotor housing is still OEM Mazda. Yep. So this engine here has got OEM Mazda plates. So we're making the billet rotor housing. So you're gonna have full billet motors in that yep. time. So gotcha. this engine now has got a billet crankshaft in it. Wow. Um, 
it's got factory stationary gears and a factory rotor and all the rotor parts internally like the apex seal side switch consoles they're all essentially factory mazda oem are you guys a, a are you guys eventually going to start making your own stationary gears? Oh, we, we do that already. Oh, excuse yeah. me. So we make, we're making the gears already, but we've been testing them for about 18 months now. And of course, just like anything else, we don't really want to give it to anybody Until, outside of the, the pack family right. to test, just in case there's any issues. But once that's that's sorted out and it's done, then of course, we'll then on sell them to um, customers that's around so the world. That's so crazy. Yeah. What kind of power does this thing specifically make? Okay, well, not in particular, this car is still just in the running in mode, but we've got a car essentially like this with triple number plates. Everybody's seen it. It runs 780 and makes about 1300 horsepower on E85, weighs 3300 pounds, drives to the track, runs seven second passes, drives home. Yeah. And essentially the same quality as this. this and thing they're is... all our builds like this. So like yeah, we don't take any shortcuts. I know, no, let's look at these yeah. things. Oh my goodness. Yep. Y'all ain't playing. Yeah. Yeah, we've got like a crazy customer base. They don't want just a race car. They want a fast street car with all the fruit. So you can look, there's there's no shortage. It's paddle shift, turbo 400, Recaro. Oh wow, I just realized it's paddle shift. Yeah. It's manual valve body? Or? Yeah, manual valve body. Cool. Let's see what else we're working with over here. Here's George's personal car. Runs 890. It's got an M130 Motec in it. Interior, man. Dude, the interior game is no joke. We got two or three trimmers that trim our cars. Like, there isn't possibly one workshop in this country that could keep up with the volume of cars that we make. So we've got two or three preferred trimmers, and we just slot the cars in as they become available. Volume of cars. How many cars do you guys put out a year? Or oh, we we probably do about four or five of these full builds a year. Okay, and then Very we're intensive. doing everything in between. Right. Right. Like so, full build, like full big build. daddy race cars, big daddy. and then a bunch of smaller oh, things yeah, in yeah, between. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you see guys building cars that go eights and stuff, and it's like strictly focused on the engine package and yeah. like you know the aerodynamics and stuff are a little rough. The body is not perfect, but like these are like they look like show cars. Total package. Like, this car runs 880, drives on the street. 880, 153 mile an hour. It's got a full billet engine in it as well. Front, intermediate, and rear. And you got the homies Elite Rotary Shop yeah. intake on there. No, that's Elite, that's from the USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I've got them on my 13B also. So just everything here pretty much run eights. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't run eights, they really don't want, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Version of the rotary engine would be a three rotor. Myself, two rotor. You like two rotors? Better. I like two rotors, but why George, is that? Well, you know what? Growing up, it was always George in his three rotor, myself and my two rotor, and we always had each other's throat. So um, I just like the two rotor because it's small, it's it's compact, um, it makes power relatively easily. Whereas a three rotor, because it's three rotors, it's longer. A little bit more engineering required, right. a little bit more finesse to get them to run properly. But right. absolutely, they, these, these sound awesome. Um, you use manual transmissions here, or is it all auto? All automatic. Like, I mean. Because you guys are drag racing, essentially, not, not right? Just that. I mean, these cars, when, when, when we had, we had manual transmissions in them, right, back in the day, but they're clunky. You've got to have a sequential box. When you're driving slow, they're. Right. Like, even a built Turbo 400 is probably a fraction of the cost of a sequential box. Well, I mean, a built Turbo 400 is about 12 and a half grand right mm -hmm. so a sequential transmission is probably about 20 but it wasn't the money it was the drivability mm. you can still get in this car and i mean we're gonna take you for a drive and now we'll put around town no, through traffic yeah. sit at lights and That's you awesome. barely even know you i don't put your foot down and all hell breaks loose yeah I don't, I don't have anything on this level i just have a half bridge yeah and uh manual gearbox first gears you know, if you're trying to cruise really slow go, 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 go. Some other <laughs> to drive yeah I know, yeah right? no so the torque I, converter I, takes out that the torque that converter is that Talk, takes out all that yeah. rock and roll. I fought it for the longest time. I was like, nah, this is, this is a street car. This is beautiful. And then I, I recently just accepted that it kind of sucks. So <laughs> uh, I see something super fancy here. Well, this is 
Now RX-8, it's the fastest two-rotor in Australia. Runs 649. Yep. 649 at 210. I've definitely seen this one. Yeah, we, we um, just set the record with it uh, at the Jamboree at Willowbank in mm -hmm. August. Yep. So um, Rodney, my younger brother, drives it. Two-rotor, 1400 horsepower. This is a manual. <laughs> a manual? That's a, it's manual transmission, it's not automatic. So it's air shifted. <laughs> Got an M1 it's on it. And it's right there. Yeah. Do you put any tin work in it when you run it or you no, drive that's it just it. like that? That's this, it. This, what you see is what you okay. get. That's yeah. extra that's, manly. I've seen that shit before. What the heck's the name of that? I'm not even know. Where, shifter? Where? The whole transmission was where? Liberty. It's a Liberty, liberty transmission. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the shifter? That whole thing on top? That's it. That whole thing. It's, it's, we got a CO2 bottle here. All that song was, uh, yeah, there's a CO2 bottle right yeah. there. Right, yeah. okay? And then there's a shift actuator for each gear that it's on, so it just, but it's full power up shift, you can't actually downshift in it. Mm. Probably what you're driving, you can actually shift up and down. Mine is a pneumatically shifted H pattern gearbox. Okay. Uh, so I've created a closed loop pneumatic shifting system sure. for the in out gears and then the left right gears. Uh -huh. It actually just goes on top of where the shifter used to sit. Okay. And then pneumatic clutch. Yeah. It works so good that I'm thinking about putting it in my car. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes a little bit of a human error out of it as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it does. Could you imagine hopping into the Thing. Yeah, sitting look, right next yeah. to the transmission. <laughs> Have a seat in it. I think we'll get him in. Yeah, go, 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 go. You should get it. I'm a bigger block. Fit. I'm uh, a bigger I mean, block. So, you're the yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're the rotary uh, guy. Yeah, I think we should get you in now. So we have an ongoing <laughs> thing with her getting oh, into cool. cars. So. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you guys going to do yeah, this to me? Hey, Robbie. You just say, if you fit in it, you get to drive it. Yeah, I don't know if it works that way. Even if it did work that way, I don't know if I would do that. This is terrifying. Oh, yeah, no. 649? The 60 foot in this thing has to be so violent. God. That's one flat on the 60 foot. Where's Rodney? One flat. Those look like some yeah. expensive floors. We're just, gotta, just getting the stretch ready, you know? All right. Gotta, gotta, Basically, you gotta, you gotta sit your ass in like this, and it's gonna slide in. I feel... <laughs> this feels wrong. Get in, however... Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a head first time. No problem. Oh, oh, don't step on that. Okay. Okay. That's it. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Hurt? You fit? I, I kind of fit. You kind of fit? I kind of fit in something. But it's something I don't want to drive. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Don't worry, man. You reckon you can handle this thing or what? Uh, right. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, thank you so much. I just... Actually, no, there's no buttons. So do you have to shift with a button or shift. you just shift by itself? On the shift there. Oh, so you... <laughs> Alright, so you are engaging it. Is it four gears? Five. Five. So you drive this. So you went 649. That's me. This guy's a monster. <laughs> Just want to put it out there. But shout out to him for being six foot six because your boy fits in his car. Uh, this is your throttle? No, no. I'll just get some more. Oh, 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 you, oh no. He's going to. Is this happening right now?
thing is insane. I seriously didn't even know how to like plug my ears while holding a camera and that almost blew There's my no brain plugging. out. There's no plugging. It's just dying. Huh? <laughs> you just, you just two-stepped the fastest 39B in the country, man. Part of Mazda's family of Wankel rotary combustion engines, the infamous 13B is the most widely produced version with a 30-year production run. The 13B shares its displacement, but not its architecture with the 13A, which was designed for front-wheel drive applications with two different sized rotors. Instead, the 13B is an evolution of the 12A, with a larger 1308cc total displacement. In Japan, the first 13B appeared in Mazda's 1972 Luce and RX-4. The engine was used continuously in Japan until 2002 in the RX-7. The 13B was available on and off in the United States from 1974 to 1995 in both sedans and sports cars and in naturally aspirated and turbocharged versions. The 13B has not been seen stateside since 1995 when it was offered in the last US spec RX-7. Let's pour one out for our fallen homies. Yeah, I think it's gnarly. Dude. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, he drives this. Wild man. He drives it really fast. This is insane. That was insane. I can't even. You met George? George? Yeah. How are you, man? Hey, not bad. How are you? Good, good. good. That's who we started the business with. George okay, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. He's my little brother. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> so you're the little brother, and then. He... My littlest brother. Okay, that's all right. That's the one you in the yellow car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my son, AP. So uh, literally just big family. Yeah. You guys. Cool, man. That's yeah. my cousin, man. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, big cuz? Yeah. That's my cousin. That's George. my son. Hey, Hi. what's up? Go and show around, George. How clean. Oh, look how clean this is. Like even ripped apart, it's clean. Uh, there is no low quality. This is a uh, this is a uh, like a '92 uh, Aussie delivered RX-7. They're worth a lot of money in Australia now because all the imports. Because it's not Japanese, it's purely exactly. it's purely Aussie. Yeah, the, we're having that same thing in the U.S. where left-hand drive yeah. uh, RX-7s and Supers are worth more than the imports exactly. just because you know. It's become like a flavor over the last four or five years where an import's an import and it's only worth X amount of dollars whereas the Aussie ones are now gone up heaps in value mm. for the last three years. Right. So yeah, this thing is clean. Ridiculous. Yeah, we're gonna make it fantastic, you know. I, I mean, just from what I've seen so far, I can tell that's what you do. Like, this is... It's the only way we know how to do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> You guys definitely seem like you've mastered your craft. Right. Oh, yeah, another elite. You know what I really like? I've noticed that they do on all their cars. Is the essentially like a bulkhead for the intercooler piping? Yeah. That has oh. Flange. So going through the car, you just have a really nice, like, yeah. hard fit here, and you're on the plasma clamp, so you get some flex and stuff. That's super clean. Yeah, that all really comes nice. from a too good car, you know. Yeah, because I've seen that on all the cars outside. I like that nice weather. touch. Yeah. I really look after my cars, and if I drive a car in the rain, and you, you know, you go through. I live on a property, so to get into my house, it's a bit muddy, and it used to always get crap under the bonnet. And they gave me the shit, so I started sealing off the I engine bays. I love it. And uh, the engineers now insist on engineering them for the road that we have a bulkhead, so that if it has a front impact that's supported the hole, you just cut. So right, really nice. It's a, it's a yeah. good excuse, but it is it's a awesome. really nice thing, and it just looks nice. It's a really good yeah. like finished touch. You know, yeah, everything is billet, of course. I, I think this one might be my favorite so far. Yeah. This has got a paddle shift on it too. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys make this. You guys make this seem like such a common thing. Yeah. Like all all your cars here, paddle like shift. They, just, they got the beautiful recipe. inside yeah. and out. Yeah, they no, just got they, the recipe and they're just cooking it up. Yeah, like day. this seems like a normal thing, but this is not. <laughs> this is another one either. That's Yo, this is like this is just the four door version this of is that a car. Version yeah, of that is this is this the same owner? No, no, it's just a different owner. Yeah, yeah. it's like, wait a second, we just saw this car. Looks like they got an FD cooking back here too. Woo. So are most of your customers RX2, RX3, RX4? Well, that's what we do. We 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 do anything, but it's like the RX2s and RX3s and RX4s. They're the ones. They're the cars that people want to spend money on. They're the they become. It's like uh, anything with chrome bumper bars is where people want to be. Right. You know, like They're the classics. That's it. What are we working with back here? Is well, this, this is an FD. This is an import. 
This uh, this car is essentially now a single turbo and um, just a, a built engine like a, a bridge port. Okay. It's um, come in, we're doing a C4 tranny on it. We're doing a, a whole new heavy duty rear end with billet axles in mm. it. We just, just fabricated the roll cage in it. We made a removable roll cage for FDs now, a full removable wow, cage wow. on this car. Yeah, so it's um, it's something that a lot of guys didn't want to touch for a yeah, long time. Because yeah. you, don't, you don't put a roll cage in an FD and you don't go drag racing an FD. Right. right. Then you've got the market that says, well, there's that many RX3s racing now, we want to race an FD. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, we put a cage, we put in some, some good uh, 275 radials on the back of it, uh, C4 automatic transmission. And a good well, It's going to be a billet. Seven eight hundred horsepower engine bay. Mm. Now it's going to be a three rotor, thousand plus horsepower engine bay. So the the owner now wants to do a, a three rotor in it, and we're going to go out and try and run. So you basically cars. already got the formula to make this oh, yeah. uh, a fast car. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a plan. We get such a boner. Oh there. my god! <laughs> oh my god! What? Is this like plating or what? No, no this is plating. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All gold plating, all of the rims and tires and engine bay and manifolds. They're all going to be. This car is gold plated. Oh my goodness. It's not gold, it's chrome plating, but gold. Right. It? Even, oh man. Yo, this is yeah. sick. I need to, I need to do this. Wow, even the fan shroud. Everything, yeah. Even the fan shroud. <laughs> what, what, what'd you say the color was again? This is candy purple. Oh, and he's on BCs too, that's right, that's what's up. BCs, the Wilwood brakes, that's another option that we have. They f these Wilwood brakes, they fit um, like 15 inch race wheels. Right. Because all of our customers will eventually end up racing. Right, there's no, so, no once you feel it, once yeah. you feel it, you gotta go for there's it. There's no point having a six piston, huge 350 mil rotor, which I also do, but because then you can't fit race wheels on right. it. It just yeah. becomes a... And I know you guys, the style, I see you running some big wheels on here, but these cars look best on the 15s. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's such a beautiful look for the car. Yeah, you could put 17s on that, it just make the front of the car look a bit too yeah. big. Yeah, no, it's, you gotta keep them small. For, yeah, for you, a car. you gotta keep the wheels small for sure. The race wheels are special. Well, well, damn, dude, thank you for showing us. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you for showing us all the goodies. Your, all of your builds are mind blowing. Have you ever been so full he can't walk? <laughs> he always does that. It's crazy because you just drive it. You gotta, you gotta slip in a wheelchair joke when you can. <laughs> oh, another this one. Wild. This is wild. This is the wild beast. This is the one? Yeah. Based around... Uh... It's a Mazda 6. Ah. Actually, it's um, so an ex-pro stock car. It's a Mopar. No par or no car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you live by that one. Oh yeah. yeah. I've done a lot it's crazy probably. what the difference of two seconds is, right? Like those cars go eights, and they're like street cars, and then six seconds you have a full blown yeah, race car. So they may or may not have showed us the top secret stuff that goes on under this, but they're gonna start it for us now. Uh, we can't show it to you, but no, we'll let you hear it. So, how would you compare this to the RX-8 outside? The RX-8 is like a small block, and this is a big block. Yeah. This is like okay, a okay. mountain motor. All right, all right. <laughs> That's the comparison. Yeah. George says that the other car outside is like a, a weed trimmer, you know, like a line <laughs> edge trimmer, whatever you call it, a whippersnipper, we yeah. call it. Yeah. All right. Fire the ball.
full of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely one of the best sounding rotaries I've ever heard. Yeah, that sounds Yo, nuts. That was insane. Something about that sounds different than other ones. That's a 20 beamer, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> so you guys are coming to kill, huh? It's timely. Yeah. That's, yeah, that sounds Woo! Yo, what is life? Robert, what is life? Apparently flames. Yeah. It's all rotaries are good for, right? You just <laughs> make it flames whenever you want. You gotta talk a little shit. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Fire breathing. Ridiculous. That's insane. Can you imagine that thing on the two-step? No. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do it. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. I was it's like, I'm gonna blow my ass. We would've got, we would've been done. Insane. Yo. I wanna, I wanna start it again. Okay. And I want you to give it a few oh. ribs on the throat of the All right. All right. All right. So they're gonna let me rev it. Diego doesn't trust me. I like to hear, and I kind of need my ear, my ears to edit. So, shout out to the boys. JH Audio ear protection. Coming in clutch. Molded, molded to his ear. I might add. Look at that fit. Look at that fit. That fit, man. Can you get your fingers in there? No, I'm not gonna try to either. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's do it. What you do, you just need a little, you just do it just with your finger. All right, yeah. Rip, rip. So he's gonna let me uh, rip, rip some revs in there. Brand new car. They trusted me to do that, <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, so good, so good. Yo, just a little bit. I'm not, I'm not that manly. Like, woo, woo. So that's pack performance, huh? That's it, Mike. All right, so that's it for our pack performance tour. They uh, showed us their cars. They showed us their top secret special drag cars. Now all we got to do is wrap it. That's it.